Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. In this video, I will show you how to level up fast in this venture season, Blasted Badlands, and all the rewards you can get if you finished everything right. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with how to level up fast. There are two ways to gain Ventures XP. First, the Venture Missions itself. Here is some tips that will help. First, for Ventures, focus on 4x missions, because it give more XP than the normal missions. Don't waste much time on farming missions, like resupply and build the radar grid. Do it only when you ran out of resources and for the XP alerts. Rather than that, the XP from these missions is very low. After you finish the 4x missions, play the normal missions but always increase the difficulty to 6 players using Bloodlow, it will give you more XP. It requires 12 Bloodlow to max any mission difficulty. Like fight the storm, retrieve the data, repair, or evacuate the shelter. And it's better to ask your team in the chat if they want to max the difficulty too. So they don't start the mission while you are collecting Bloodlow. And when you finish that, consider playing the other 4x missions with XP alerts from the other zones, because it will be higher than repeating the same high missions without any XP alerts. Also, playing ventures with friends is much better, since public lobbies are very bad sometimes. That will help you to max out your venture in no time. Second, Ventures Challenge Quests. A lot of people skip them and focus only on the venture missions rewards. Well, these quests are not that hard, few of them are annoying, but the rest is easy. Plus, they give a lot of XP, supercharges and core reaper. So make sure to finish them during the missions. But please, don't spend all the missions finishing these quests only without helping your team with the mission itself. A lot of people do that, they just join a mission, keep farming and finishing quests, without helping the rest of the team with the main mission. And it's so annoying believe me, I didn't finish my last venture season because of that, since it's too boring and hard to finish all the season solo. So please, don't do that. And like that, you will be able to finish your season fast. Now let's talk about the rewards you can get from ventures. The most valuable rewards from ventures are the superchargers. A lot of end game players, me included, play ventures just for superchargers. Since they are the only way to increase your power level above 130. By supercharging survivors. And to increase your traps, weapons and heroes above level 130 as well. When you reach level 50 you will get 15 survivor superchargers, 3 hero superchargers, 2 trap superchargers and 2 weapon superchargers. The venture quests too, it gives, 2 survivor superchargers, 3 hero superchargers, 1 trap supercharger and 2 weapon superchargers. There are a lot of valuable rewards too, not just the superchargers. You can get 1 weapon voucher, and 1 hero voucher. Which you can use to get rare heroes or weapons from the collection book. But choose wisely, as you see, you get only one of each every season. And you can get up to 4 core reaper per season. One from the ventures level, and three from the quests. You don't need core re perk a lot, but it's good to have some. Because sometimes you need to change your sixth perk, especially on melee weapons. And 200 legendary flux, which is very good, if you are missing a lot of heroes and weapons and you want to get them from the collection book. And last thing, two legendary troll stash llamas, you will get a lot of good things from these llamas like legendary survivors. There are a lot of other rewards like upgrading materials, perk up, gold tickets and flux. But these are the rewards that worth mentioning. And that's it, don't forget to use code LARSIS in the item shop if you want to support me. And don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying the content, helps me a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, see you in the next one.